Hi friends, this is Bilal Heather and this is my 27th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about uh, another trend indicator which is called Commodity Channel Index or for short CCI. Okay, and let's go ahead and add our uh, channel in a commodity channel index indicator to our chart. Click this and this uh, uh, indicator has one um, variable or, or one argument which is uh, called the period and the second variable it is um, with which you want these um, indicators to apply with which price you want uh, this indicator to apply so there are <coughs> close open high low median price which is high plus low divided by two typical price which is high plus low plus close price divided by three and weighted close which is high plus low plus close plus close divided by four so in this particular example we will be using this typical price select that and click ok now here you can see this uh, trend CCI uh, with a period 30 indicator uh, is uh, is appear right here and <coughs> let me tell you about the strategy used when you use this indicator how you trade when using this indicator okay so um, basically <coughs> you look for this zero level of this indicator which I have shown with this thick um, line and whenever the value of this uh, trend CCI um, indicator goes below this zero level you enter a sell trade okay and when the value of this trend CCI indicator goes above the zero level you enter a buy trade you buy here you close here okay you sell here you close your sell here and then you buy here and close your buy here and so on okay so now let's start coding our expert advisor which is based on this particular indicator as i have shown you that um, it can be applied to several uh, prices for example you can apply it to close price of the candle for example you can apply it to all of uh, the candles close price okay um, for example this candle has a close price right here and this candle has a close price right here you can apply all of the candles uh, close price okay you can apply this indicator to all of the candles close price okay you can apply it to open price high low median typical or weighted okay here are the formulas we don't need to calculate them because uh, when we'll write this thing it will be calculated automatically for us okay so let's start writing our code the first thing we need um, to start writing the CCI um, expert is that we need an integer variable we'll call it period and we'll set it to 30 because we are using the 30 uh, CCI right here okay set it like that and I have written the built-in um, function the predefined function which is used to uh, calculate the value of this indicator and I have written that particular indicators function right here okay I also uh, created uh, a function of boolean type and I, I have called it CCI okay as I uh, as we have done in the previous um, uh, previous tutorial we have uh, done we have created a function for parabolic SAR and now we are creating a function for CCI okay so 
let's create a double variable and let's call it point okay and let's set it uh, let's not initialize it to some value okay now point equals to this function okay so the first argument this particular function takes is the symbol with which it is attached okay we are using null um, you know why okay the next argument it takes is the time frame so if we write zero in here or null in here that means the time frame of the chart with which it is attached to okay next argument it takes is the period um, and we have already um, defined an external variable above here so we are writing that variable in here to pass the period to this function okay and the next thing we are using the typical price um, for this uh, tutorial you can use other prices like close open high low or others as well and the last argument it takes is the candle number the candle index number at which you want to know the price of this commodity channel index indicator for example if uh, as we have written zero in there it will return us the value of cci at this particular uh, candle and at here it has a value of minus 104.2437 okay so now you uh, you have uh, extracted extracted uh, the value of commodity channel index what you are going to do now you are going to uh, write the conditions so if the point which is having the uh, 0th uh, index candles um, commodity channel index price and it is stored in the point if the point is greater than zero what we want to do we want to return true okay else if point is less than zero what we want to do we want to return false else return empty value empty value so <clears throat> this is it and this is the function which will um, return us true if uh, if the trend cci value is above uh, its zero level and it will return us return us false if the trend cci value is below the uh, zero level okay so now let's use this function in our start function let's make a boolean type variable and let's call it uh, bill okay and bill equals cci if bill equals true what you want to do you want to close cell and open buy if else if bill equals false what you want to do close by and open cell and if you don't know uh, what are those functions you must watch my previous video uh, 
previous videos I have already um, told you how to write a function uh, which can open a sell trade for you or how to write a function which can open a buy trade for you so watch my previous videos if you don't know what are these two functions so this is all for this tutorial now you know how to uh, use um, commodity channel index let me dry run this uh, for you um, for once okay so right here when a new tick arrives uh, this function will be called and it will create a boolean type variable and then it will um, call this function right here and <clears throat> it will jump in here it will create this variable and it will extract the information uh, from the chart and it will get the value of commodity channel index at the 0th index candle and it will store that value in here so right here the value is minus one um, minus one zero four point something so if the point is greater than zero it is not greater than zero it will not do this it will come down point is less than zero yes it is so it will return false it will return back here and it will um, assign that false value to bill okay now it will test the condition right here bill equals true no this is not true it will not execute this this code it will come down and it will check the condition bill equals false yes that's true it will come inside and it will close any buy orders and it will open a sell rate okay now this um, expert advisor has a drawback and that is um, on each tick on each new tick arrival it will keep on placing trades okay so a new tick arrives it will check the condition it will be true it will um, place a sell trade then a new tick arrives place a sell trade and it will keep on doing that in for infinite many times so how to tackle this problem we can use the order totals function right here orders total orders total and we want order totals to be less than or equal to one if there are less than or one orders on the chart and this condition is true you open a sell trade okay now make it with this one less than or equals to one and now you're ready to go it will place only one order at a time okay thank you for watching this tutorial and keep on watching my tutorials see you in next video